I love the simplicity of Cedar Island. You drive onto the island and you drive straight to the end of the island and everything's right there. Uh, you're looking straight at the ferry and then the campground, the stables, uh, then there's the post office and the restaurant. How great is this? Even the Passport America members get an ocean view. Here I am washing dishes, looking at the ocean. How great is that? Now Cedar Island's about 45 minutes north of Moorhead City, which is where you want to get your provisions. And then it's a ferry ride to Ocracoke, uh, which is the beginning of the more well-known part of the Outer Banks. The ferry to Ocracoke is two and a half hours one way. Uh, you can take your RV on for uh, 30 bucks, or just take your car for 15 and get this. You can walk on for $1. Looking out my other windows, I was looking directly at the stables. The owner of the park actually conducts these rides, and uh, these horses are seaworthy. Apparently, they'll cross a channel to another island uh, where the wild horses roam. Kayaking is another activity you can do on the island. You may already know that I'm a terrible critic. I just kind of have fun everywhere I go, so it's hard for me to criticize these places. But I do read the reviews occasionally. It just astounds me that someone would say there's nothing to do here on this island. I mean, what more could you ask for? Beautiful landscapes teeming with nature, a ferry right here, uh, a restaurant at the stables. Uh, it's, it's just perfect, and everything's in walking distance. Truth is, I was here for a week, and I didn't even want to go to Moorhead City to check out the biggest city in the area. I just wanted to stay here. So for me, everything I needed was in walking distance of the campground, and the great thing was I got to stay here at the Passport America rate uh, for an entire week. But when I stayed on Cedar Island, I chose simplicity. I didn't do much. I actually went for walks on the beach, had a little beach combing, enjoyed some sunrises. And throughout the day, I would just take little walks. And for me, doing nothing was kind of like doing something because I never do it. Now, I would say the one drawback here is the lack of full hookups. So let me plug that into my computer and we'll get our final rating. Okay, here we go. I would definitely come back to Cedar Island. Uh, in fact, it's uh, near the top of my list of places to return to. Okay, guys, if this information was helpful to you, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the alert. Help my channel grow. Well, that's it for now. Safe travels, and I'll see you next time.